What's up, guys? Uh, I know it's officially March 2017. That means a lot of you are hearing back from colleges, which is great news because college is fantastic. Uh, you'll be learning a lot. But before that happens, I know that this is actually the phase where a lot of high school students tend to have multiple acceptances. That is a good situation to be in. So when you have these multiple acceptances, this video is uh, going to be for you because I want you to take these factors into consideration when you finally choose your college because there's more to a college than what what the name is. So today I'm going to go over I think four to five main factors I'd say that you should consider when you decide to uh, pick what college you want to go to. The first one is public versus private. I already have a separate video on what a public university is like and what a private university is like. You should watch it. Um, I think I'll probably make it appear on the top if I can right now. And if I, if it doesn't appear, just go ahead and look it up. Um, and basically, when you look about public versus private, you have to consider, do you like large classes or are you more of a small classes person? In high school, you've had classes of about 30. Uh, in college, you can have classes upwards of 100 to 200 people if you go to a public institution. The other thing I will also say is attention-centered versus independent. If you go to a private school, I'm not saying that you won't learn to be an independent learner. I guarantee you that you will, but you just have a lot more attention on you. On the other hand, uh, a big school like any CSU, any UC, um, you will have to do a lot more independent learning. And that's something that I know that some of my friends love independent learning. They're like, man, I hate it when I get homework. I just want to figure it out myself. Others like it when they have that sort of catered um, schedule, catered homework schedule. Uh, and so that kind of is another thing you want to consider. Do you like it when you have attention and get guidance? Or are you more of an independent learner? Because independent resonates more with public universities, whereas um, attention-centered uh, resonates more with private universities. All right. Although those are not mutually exclusive, there are tons of private universities, again, that will definitely foster independence and lots of public universities that have a lot of attention. The second factor I want you to consider is the location, okay? I know um, you probably have lived in one place for most of your life, and you have taken location for granted. You do not want to do that, all right? Right away, one of the biggest differences, which I'm going to go over later on, is the fiscal aspect. Um, sometimes going to school in-state will save you a ton of money, so right then and there, location makes a huge difference, all right? I'm from California. So, you know, do you love California? Do you hate California? Believe it or not, that's a big factor, okay? Um, I've stayed in California my whole life. So, you know, from med school, I think I've reached that point where I'm okay leaving. I actually would prefer leaving, right? Because I think I've been here so long that it is, um, I should diversify myself. On the other hand, um, if you are from California and you've never been to the East Coast, that's something that might be a hurdle for you, okay? Because, uh, there's snow. It's cold. You believe it or not, they have uh, sub-zero degrees in winter. That doesn't happen in California. So don't take location for granted. Make sure you take location into consideration. Can you see yourself actually living in this place? Um, the other thing is, do you want to live close to home? All right. Um, I went to Berkeley. My sister was at Berkeley. So we were never really far away from home. And that could be a detriment or a boon. You know, whether you like coming home and hanging out with your family or maybe you don't want to hang out with your family as much, you have to decide what do you want, all right? Um, with the thing about staying close to home, I will say that the pros are that you can visit whenever, you know, like if your mom's birthday, you can come back, your dad's birthday, you can come back, you want to visit friends, you can do that. Um, and you save a couple thousand a year if you decide to live at home, right? That's also a big, big aspect. The second thing is if you live away from home, the pro is that you get much more personal growth, okay? You learn to live independently. You learn to do all this stuff that you probably would not have learned otherwise, and I think it's a really great experience. If you are going to live away from home, how far do you want to live? Is it in-state? Maybe, you know, I'm from the Bay Area. So is away from home like L.A., or is away from home like I want to be on the opposite side of the country? So probably the more... Uh, um, individualized aspect of college is compatibility. You know, location is something you might think is, okay, kind of weird factor, um, but compatibility is really, really important. And it sounds cliche, but sometimes it is important that the area resonates with you. Do you see yourself living there? All right. Uh, there is such a thing as a bad fit. I've had people who go across the country for college and realize, man, I didn't think I'd miss my parents this much, and they end up coming back. I've had the exact opposite problem where people stay too close to home and they're like, I got to get out, all right? So the point is you have to figure out compatibility. Do you like that school or are you going to have these other lasting doubts that might cause you to switch, all right? You have to be able to see yourself there. 
Okay, and I know that sounds kind of silly, and personally, I always found it hard to do this. I never understood what it means to, do I see myself here? That sounds so stupid. That's a stupid question, because I'm like, um, I guess if I go here, I would see myself here. Um, but I, what I mean by that is, you should really learn uh, whether or not you like it there. Do you like the food? Do you like the people? Um, and so for me, I never was able to visualize myself there. So what I did was, when I went to visit the colleges, I kind of focused on the people. I kind of looked at the people. Did the people look happy? Did the people look like they were having a good time? Were people always studying? Um, and in my case, I was also lucky because I ended up picking a school where I had a lot of friends from high school. And I think that's a really stupid reason to pick a school. And I, a lot of people may tell you it's a stupid reason, but it was comfortable for me. I went to a, I went to a college uh, because I knew there were, I would have friends from high school. And that was important to me. And if that's important for you, that's all the more power to you. Okay. Uh, the other thing in terms of compa compatibility is academics, and I know academics is probably the last thing on your mind when you're going to college, uh, but does your major fit into this school? Don't go to a school that uh, you would be like the only architecture major if you were going to do architecture. That doesn't, that doesn't sound too good because you might not get the resources you want. So, you know, if you're the only major at a school, that can be daunting. So go to a school that's known for what you think you want to do. You want to do computer science? Go to a school for computer science. You want to do, uh, I don't know, ocean biology? Go to a school for ocean biology. Make sure the program that you want has the resources you need to be successful because that is a big part of why you're going to college, right? Your degree uh, has to mean something. Um, and is there support slash funding for your major? I think there's also this whole aspect of, um, you know, defunding of departments. That happens in colleges. And if your department gets defunded or your department's not valued at a certain college, you might want to switch it up. All right. Um, not saying that actually uh, happens often, but you know, sometimes you might get caught in the short end of the stick if you don't do your research. So you really should. Compatibility in terms of location. Do you like the place? Compatibility in terms of major, also very important. All right. And last but not least, finances. This is the fourth and final one. Money can never be overstated. Um, and again, as a kid who had a lot of support from his parents, I feel like I took this for granted a lot, but you should not. Never take finances for granted. Um, because again, college is expensive. It's 30K a semester if you go to a UC, uh, and if you go out of state, 50K a semester. That's a lot of money, okay? That's $400,000 if you don't pay it at all. Um, and the, the luxury of uh, lower debt is something that cannot be and be emphasized enough. Imagine coming out of college with zero debt. You can do whatever you want, right? You can do whatever job you want. You can do whatever internship you want. Let's say there's a beautiful internship. It's perfect for you, but after graduation, you realize you're in four hundred thousand dollars of debt, and this internship is not going to cut it. Well, now you're full going on that internship because you're in debt, and you need a job that pays more. But if you don't have a debt, you have no strings attached. You can do what you want when you want it. And you can feel good about the fact that you have less debt because you went to an institution that took your finances into consideration. I've had people turn down a higher institution, so-called higher, according to rankings. I think rankings are stupid. But uh, they turned down a higher institution to go to a school that actually gave them a ton of financial aid. That's a genius decision. I've had people go to a community college for two years and then transfer over to university because now they save two years of uh, university tuition. Genius decision. All right? Lower debt equals more flexibility when you graduate. More flexibility when you graduate gives you all the more power in your career, and that's really where a college is leading you to be anyway. So if you're going to be better off in your career, then why not do it, okay? Um, that is really priceless when I say that. Freedom to explore what you want, I think, is huge, all right? Uh, and last but not least, uh, this is an overall summary of the four main things I would consider if I was repicking where I was going to go to college. Public versus private institution. Which one do you want? If you don't know yet, watch my video to get an idea of the difference. Location. Do you want to be in-state, out-of-state? How far away do you want to be from your original home? Do you want to be across the country? Do you want to leave the country? I don't know. Um, second, The third thing, compatibility. Compatibility in terms of location. Can you see yourself here? Uh, I know people who have been brought up in really, really urban places who then end up going to college in rural places and hate it. And they, so they've had the same situation happen. They go to a rural place and they love it. Really figure out, do you compatible there? Also, compatibility in terms of major. Is your major well-funded? Is your potential career path that you're studying for uh, good at this university? And last but not least, finances. Make sure you're not leaving college with a big debt. And if you are leaving college, you better make sure that you're leaving happy. You, you're satisfied with the decision you made, and hopefully this video helps you do that.
with that, uh, please let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate it. If you want to check out any of my other videos, there's going to be one right here. Another link to one of my videos right here. And another video right here. Why not? I'll put one video right over here. And last but not least, if you want to subscribe to this channel, really appreciate it because I'm still an early YouTuber trying to get it down. But a subscription button should be right over here. So please subscribe. Cool. Thanks. See you guys in the next one. Hope you find these videos helpful.